Hi, Tommy Michigan, wanting to wrap up geometry with the uh, volume of solids. And uh, in the case, uh, last time we talked about the surface areas, uh, the lateral areas and uh, so forth. Here we're just talking about the volumes. And volume basically is, if you think of each solid figure, uh, how much could it hold if we were to pour, uh, pour a full of sand or uh, water or whatever, the volume is how much uh, that vessel uh, can hold. And if uh, you remember when we were finding areas, very often uh, the area of a rectangle, for instance, was equal to the base times the height. And a triangle was half of that, so it was one half times the base times the height. Well, volume is very similar to that in most uh, cases, only it's the area of the base times the height. And for the area of the base, we use the capital letter B. That indicates when you see it, oh, it's the base, but it's the area of the base, then multiplied times the height. So let's look at, uh, well, it's, the cube isn't any different than the, the rectangle, but let's just look at... Uh, this particular rectangle, we say the base is 5 times 3. So the area of the base, or capital B, is equal to 15, isn't it? And therefore then 15 times the height, so the volume of any rectangular solid would be the base, the area of the base, times the height. The area of the base is 15, the height is 7, so we have 7 times 5, 35, so it would be 105. And if this case were, remember last time area was square, inches, square uh, feet, square meters. In this case, volume is always cubic, so cubic feet. And you can also write that as foot with a little 3 as the exponent uh, feet cubed. Okay? The big thing is recognize when a capital B, that stands for the area of the base, multiply it by the height. Uh, in the case of the cylinder, well, that's really not any different. It's still the volume is equal to the base times the height. It's the area of the base. But this base, instead of being a rectangle, is a circle. What's the area of the circle? Pi r squared. In this case, r is 3, so r squared would be 9, so capital B, or the area of the base, would be 9 pi. In this case, we would multiply that by the height then, so the volume would be equal to 45 pi cubic feet, inches, yards, whatever it happens to be. Okay? How about the pyramid? Well, the pyramid and the cone, I hope you can see there that uh, in the uh, case of uh, those figures that come to a vertex, come to a point, think one-third. In other words, the uh, pyramid in this case, the volume is equal to one-third the area of the base times the height. Okay? Now that's not the slant height, don't get that confused, but it's the height of the pyramid. In this case, the base happened to be a square, 6 by 6. So capital B is 36, the height is 4, and we're going to take one third of that. 3 goes into 36, 12, 12 times 4 is 48. So the volume of this pyramid would be 48, and again, it's cubic feet, inches, yards, meters, centimeters, whatever it happens to be. Okay? The cone, no different. It's the volume is equal to one-third of the area of the base times the height. In this case, the base is not a square as in the pyramid, but a circle. 
what's the formula for the area of a circle? Pi r squared. In this case, r was 6, so capital B is equal to pi r squared, that would be 36 pi, wouldn't it? So now the volume of this cone is equal to one third times the area of the base, which is 36 pi, times the height. Now again, don't get confused with, this is the height of the cone, which in this case is 8, not the slant height. And in this case, it would be times 8. 3, then the 36, 12, 12 times 9, or 12 times 8 is 96. So the volume in this case would be 96 pi cubic units. Okay, I hope you recognize that difference. It's the height of the unit, that's the height uh, to the vertex from the base, not the slant height. And finally, the, the sphere. Uh, last lesson when I talked about the area of the sphere, I really goofed up by confusing that formula with the uh, area of the sphere. And that's uh, <laughs> well, another reason I hate formulas. But the area of a sphere is actually four circles. So it's four pi r squared. Okay, last time I said it was four thirds. The four thirds has to do with the volume. The volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. Always remember if we're dealing with volumes, it's cubed. If we're dealing with areas, it's squared. Okay? So in this case, let's say the, the radius of the sphere happened to be nine. Okay? Nine feet, nine inches, whatever you'd like it to be. But in this case, we're going to say now, when we substitute, it's four thirds pi r, which is 9, 9 cubed. So that's 9 times 9 times 9. 3 goes into one of those 9's. That's 81 times 3. It's 243 times 4. 12, uh, 17, 8 and 1 is 9. So our final answer would be 972 pi cubic inches, feet, whatever. Okay, uh, apologize for goofing up with last time. I think the key here is to remember area. Uh, the area of the sphere is four circles. The volume of the sphere, again, think of pi r, but in this case it's cubed, and it's four thirds. Okay, hopefully that uh, you find that those are not uh, difficult uh, Again, remember capital B stands for the area of the base, and most of the volumes are going to be the area of the base times the height. Okay, we're going to move on to uh, Algebra 2. I hope uh, these lessons are valuable to you. Please, again, any uh, questions you have or any uh, uh, disputes on something uh, that I've indicated here, or if I haven't covered something, please contact me, uh, leave me an email, and I'd be glad to uh, uh, clear those things up for you. Thank you very much.